let's quickly check the time eight minutes to release so I will need to do that in maybe six minutes I'll start having to click buttons but right now we are still capturing this island so uh, we are quite close to it now let's have a quick look on the map and let's plan our strategy so with the level one islands they are reasonably easy um, we've got beach access here so what I might do is just kind of pull up here drop my ground assault force off um, and then jump on the support weapon and shoot anything that's overwhelming me uh, before we do that I'll just try and tag some targets on the viewing scope manual and stabilized and we'll just see if we can see any it is harder during the day because you can't just see their headlights uh, but we'll try and get our units out the back of the carrier as quickly as we can uh, the level one islands they don't have good I'm getting nervous here I am heading straight towards that and I don't want to wait for my depth to go off so I will turn ocean depth on and we can see it's actually quite a quite a steep drop off so we can actually get very close to the island and it's just going to be just around here just around the corner it's got some ships on the next island that's great uh, just around this corner there should be a beach for us to, to drop our ground force off how do you balance having right is there a bit of popping I will adjust my microphone away from my mouth a bit that should hopefully fix it let me know if yeah let me know if that is fixed am I still coming through or am I muted because I just muted myself and then I muted myself I can't remember what it means <laughs> right I'm gonna unload these units here on this beach so let's start slowing us down and I was just about to uh, ask the question is how do you balance having multiple carriers on both teams I'm not sure I fully understand that question but um, uh, as a, a as a server host if you're hosting a multiplayer game then uh, you simply you set the number of islands you want the set number of player teams you want the set number of AI teams you want uh, and it's it's up to you how to how to set that up what your preference is whether you've got two big teams are with one carrier reach or whether you want to have four four human teams four player carriers all with smaller crews uh, it's completely up to you and depends how big the world you want um, uh, makes a big difference for the um, I'm just going to focus on getting these ground vehicles on the beach I cannot play and talk at the same time so I will I'll jump in and out a little bit and we'll drop the virus bots off as well against my better judgment um, I still haven't tagged any enemy units which there should be quite a lot of enemy units here so it may be that they're on the other side of the island or they just haven't seen us yet um, if they're not aware of us we can end up in quite a fierce situation later on so I think I'm just going to get an albatross in the air as well and then we've got the option of dropping some missiles if we have to and in fact I've got two albatrosses let's just send them both up and then we've got additional fire support if we need to call it in I think the strategy I'm kind of going for here is I am going to raid the island now I am going to be releasing the game half part way through this island capture so we'll see how things go but uh, we will start capturing this island anyway I'll answer some more questions um, will enemy carriers actively hunt you or only if you go near we're going to do a developer making of video about um, the AI uh, in the game uh, but the AI carrier can have various moods or various modes which it operates in uh, so sometimes it will just focus on capturing islands uh, there are certain conditions that will be met in which case it will decide that you are a problem and it will if you start capturing its island it may decide to go and try and defend its island 
or it may decide to start hunting you if it thinks it's got the advantage uh, and likewise you know if it doesn't think it can fight you it can try and avoid you and it could even uh, retreat from battle and so on um, and so the, the, the AI will do different things in different situations we're, we're going to do a video about it because um, we've got some really cool uh, graphical interfaces for how the AI works and so on which is which is quite interesting um, so I am going to I think the time has come I am going to start looking at the let's jump in we've got to play it up I'm going to jump in it I'm going to set the gimbal camera looking at the island and We'll put him on tracking, and then I will return in a second. I think the time has come. Let's get the game pushed live. How long have we got? The moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> One minute until live. You know what? Let's make things interesting. I can I can play the game and release it at the same time. Let's move some units up. Gonna place these guys on the far side. Click deploy vehicle, and then as soon as they're deployed, we'll drop back to the carrier. So we've got our three seals moving up. And I will just watch that. I always find it interesting when the devs are playing and broadcasting a game just slightly too large for the actual broadcast frame. It's interesting that they just didn't look at, oh, you know, are they using OBS? Did they notice it hadn't snapped to the quarters? I don't know. I never know. When broadcasters do that, it really confuses me. But gorgeous, gorgeous terrain considering how low poly it is of this. Hopefully we didn't have any storms roll in uh, later this afternoon to keep me from continuing to stream this. But uh, if it happens, well, like the last time I was streaming a game, we'll just cancel for a little bit and get, keep it up a different day because I definitely, definitely want to stream some Carrier Command 2, hopefully with some of you guys. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, I'm a little bit behind, but I think we might be live. Let me click the same button on the VR app. We're going to reload the page and see what happens here. We are live, so, ooh, 40 bucks. A little more than I was expecting, actually. It's a little uh, on the higher side, but we're going to go ahead and pick that up. Give me just a moment. I will uh, turn off this camera while while that happens, because you guys don't need to see the details. But keep listening. Keep listening. Right. That's not correct.
doodly do doodly do have to get that that clearance code going yeah there we go and we will go back over here to the main here command page well, that's too far too far back uh let's screen turn on Right, that's not correct. So there's two options on the store page and the top option is not meant to be visible. So I will just see if I can hide that. Should have gone hidden automatically. Right. Okay, yes, please go ahead, install that. Get in there. Get, get you installing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. while that happens, while that happens, we will... God, it can't be terribly large. Um, yeah, while that happens, we'll watch a little more of the dev. Then we'll flip back over... Because this is just, you know, all kinds of fun. Oh, Telemachus, you had a cool lightning show. I, I hate lightning. Uh, the southeast, I know, is full of... of wonderful storm and i hate every minute we'll of it i have to email valve as the uh the two options aren't meant to be visible you can see on the store page there's two options to buy carry command 2 and the second one includes carry command 2 and carry command 2 vr um but obviously it's the same price so obviously buy the second one because that includes oh, the vr version of the game great. and it also includes the uh soundtrack as well uh, so yeah, yeah, make the, sure you get the bottom one. I got the wrong one, but we'll find out later. I will get that uh, first one hidden by Valve as quickly as I can to save customers the trouble. But yes, you want to make sure to purchase the lower option, which includes Carry Command 2 and Carry Command 2 VR. Thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah. Too much difference if you don't have a VR headset and no plans yeah. for that one. But, uh, all right, Steam is finished downloading. My recommendation. I'm going to switch over to my game. Well, uh, you know, so let's let's do that. Uh, who the hell needs to see that? Well, now, now, now. See, it's even in my background. Well, you can't see it. I used to have my background not blocked off by by stuff, but now. Now I'm very careful about people not seeing my background, my desktop, because nobody needs to see that stuff. Nobody. And we're starting up, theoretically, in theory. Got a little spinny, spinny icon over here. And once it takes... Wow! Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe just a little volume down over there. I bet if I L tab out, it's gonna be like, nah. All right, we'll just, we'll just balls it. We'll just balls it, kids. And here we are on the deck of our very own ship. Uh, let's go to options here for a second. Left click is pretty nice. Uh, blue, yeah, 1920 by 1080, yeah. Full screen, yeah. Prefer window full screen. Oh, it is excellent. We cut down that volume a little bit on the main, the main display here. Damn, that's 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 intense. Intense. There we go. I, hopefully, I'm not blowing your ears out now. All right. Cool. In fact, let's take the master volume down enough for me. Uh, take the music way down, and then I can bring this back up. Bring it back up to kind of where we were. There we go. Now, now we're working with gas, as I like to say. I've got my headphones on, which I almost never do, because I hate wearing headphones while broadcasting. Usually I have pretty good audio isolation, but here we are. Uh, we'll stick with that. UI stuff. Voice indicator. Yes, there is in-game chat. 
keyboard. Let's look and see what there is. WSAD, look left, right, up and down, sprint for left shift. Oh, okay, is X at anything? Secondary attachment, D and X are secondary attachment. How about V and C? B and C set to anything. V is set to voice, of course it is. All right, so we're gonna change voice. The period, and you're wondering why am I doing this, right? Uh, because, because of my reach particulars, uh, I really prefer uh, walk, actually it should be walk back, but it's, it's that. I would rather have sprint set to shift S. This is easier for me to reach. So yeah, uh, back opens the pause menu. Sure, we're good with that. Mouse sensitivity seems okay. I don't need inversion. I'm not using a mouse pad. Cool, cool, cool. Now we're making progress. Also like the fact that you know there's all sorts of buttons and stuff to flick here, and then we can satisfying clicking noise. You know it's true. That, that is a satisfying noise. The only more satisfying noise I have ever experienced is the sound of Minecraft picking stuff up. That is also quite satisfying. Nothing here. Okay, profile. Style and in profile. No, I'm not female. I'm male. Thanks. Hair, dark brown. That is correct. Type D. All right, what do I want my hair kind of be like? Uh, a little challenging. Okay, H is the maximum option we've got. Not bald, not a bob. Not a lot of detail here, but it kind of goes with our style. Kind of going with the anime protagonist there. Uh, Mike, you know what? I'm really pale. Why can you not let me? Oh, that's right. The. Uh, I'm, I'm really pale, folks. I don't know if you know, but living at the bottom of the ocean has certain side effects. All right, so key understanding. Clicking on these things does not change which one is selected. You must use the arrows. Good to know. Uh, facial hair. Do I want Linny Chops? Maybe. Linny Chops are the best. Don't want a soul pad. I, I mean, usually I'm pretty clean shaven. If they had a five o'clock shadow, that would be appropriate. But now uh, we're going with clean shaven. I'm a professional, damn it. I'm a professional. All right. Cool. And you can see that, that our profile is in the background. I am streaming at 60 FPS on, on uh, Odyssey, which is kind of an experiment. We'll see how that goes. All right, the game. I wonder if we can actually see other people. Oh, yeah, Steam free friends or invite code. No Steam friends found, of course. Really, right click should probably let us back out of that, but invite code. Uh, I don't have an invite code and it doesn't let me do. Hmm. No, I can't possibly connect to a non-existent invite code. I suspect that the easy way to set up games is gonna be through uh, Discord or through Steam itself. Sometimes that's the way, but we're gonna go a new game. We're gonna do the campaign game. It is now creating its own private Idaho, and by that I mean its own world, which is awesome. Loading world, 63%. Ugh, uh, we're red around here. This, this does not bode well. You know, if you wake up, everything's red. There's something over your face. Things are blurry. Yeah. That, that doesn't bode well at all. And we've got uh, actually quite good zero-g maneuvering here. If you ever played something like Rogue System or other game where you actually have to do... Uh, cool. If zero G, this is quite nice. Ow, ow, just slam myself in the face. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Space is fine. I feel like I'm playing Shipbreaker, but yeah, we'll float on through then. 
Oh, good. Thank God it opens the other way. All right. We got a... Hey, this, the seat looks really familiar. Not gonna lie. Dog that hatch. All right. Seat seems awfully familiar. Like where we just came from. Welcome back, Commander Altus Gage. Your disorientation shall pass. Your employer, the Drazu Industries Corporation, has asked me to reiterate its gratitude for you volunteering to enter stasis on the Horus Satellite Overwatch program. Volunteering. I am Captain Aparo, commander of UEC Deep Space Colonies in this sector. Please be advised, the terrorist Stanza organization has breached the unmanned colony's firewalls on the planet of Telos and is now in control of the ACC Omega Carrier. They are the Omega. You are to take manual override command of the ACC Epsilon Carrier and stop the Omega by any means necessary. Any Drazu means. hereby grants a full liability waiver for your actions, and the United Earth Coalition has issued an anticipatory pardon. <laughs> Proceed to your landing pod immediately. It has been remotely programmed and is ready to go. Good hunting, Commander. I've been issued a pardon, and they expect me to have committed war crimes. Fantastic. I like an opportunity to commit war crimes. You can tell, because uh, I play RimWorld. Let's not hit ourselves with the door this time. I feel like I did that better. Alright. Alright. Crawl down. These are not the droids you're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've reached the shuttle. Oh, well, that's a reorientation. One big glowing button. We're 93 kilometers up. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. I believe the answer is, in fact, hit it. Oh, right, right click, zooms. So if you've been playing a lot of Minecraft and enjoy Optifine, you've got the, the habit right there. We're dropping into the atmosphere that that bodes well back first because you don't want the compression push down on your sp um that looks bad this just looks bad i don't want to judge but that's a this is a fast drop we're in the atmosphere though coming up on our sh ow 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 all right uh, uh, uh this is what happens when you Lie on your back. All right, here we are on the deck. And there is our baby, which we apparently cannot paint appropriately as, you know, if we want different paint jobs. They are available as team colors, but there's no interface for pulling those up by choice yet. I expect that'll be something they do. We are sprinting at full speed. And you can tell how big this place is. There's a Sea Whiz over there. Connection to the mainland. Kind of beautiful. That's where we start. Also, if you expect us to win the first time we get into this thing, I'm sorry. It's, it's probably not going to happen. All right. The elevator. Which is not a loading screen for a change. Not a loading screen. Oh, this thing is so huge. So in the back, we're coming up over the back end of the ship. Here are, here's the ramp for the unmanned surface vehicles, which are amphibious because this is obviously a, a series of uh, an archipelago, series of islands. You can actually see guys parked in there. Fantastic. Looking around, this this water is beautiful. I've only seen water better than this game once. It's in Sea of Thieves, but this is, is gorgeous. It'll be even better once we're on deck, rolling. And here we are, we're on deck. Uh, sort of slope down, torpedo launchers. Uh, over there, some more torpedo launchers. There's some on either side. There are uh, anti-air missiles, anti-air, anti-service missiles. There is the deck gun, which does not screw around. There's a Sea Whiz, and there is uh, the five-inch deck gun, which, man, this this place, this thing is loaded for bear. Um, and actually loaded with a bear, if I'm not mistaken. 
killed. All right. So here we are. I can walk all the way up the uh, all the way up the stairs through all the decks. You can you can actually go through the whole ship. But I'm lazy. Don't want to deal with that. So um, going up to top floor, floor seven. Every deck here is detailed, and uh, at at the moment there's no reason to go through them. Yeah, here we go. The bridge, dog that hatch. Always close the hatch behind you. All right, the ship is not on. So I guess we ought to bring this thing up, huh? Beautiful, beautiful environment. Hours are on. Power is on. Now it wants us to use the helm right now. I guess it's gonna activate things as we go. All right. For the carrier. For the carrier. We're rolling. Stuff is coming online. We've got depth warnings. Ah, oh, all right. I'm gonna set this to ocean depth. And I'm definitely gonna have to set a voice control so that that it wants me to start the engines I'm not ready to do that yet uh, I want to set this to be cartographic which gives me a little better view of islands and be nav screen and uh, this one I want to set to concur or wind go with to go with ocean current right so now we can actually determine how to navigate this thing based on multiple things we know the island is off to our east but we don't know which one it is it wants us to start the engines i'm not ready for that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over, go over here to the logistics screen go to the map right and you can see this is where we're at we've got a barge that serves us that's a turret island, that's a barge island, and that's a fuel island. So these two islands should really be our first if we can possibly take it, right? Um, in the meantime, we'll just pop over here, look at our stocks. Since we're right here, I want to load up on everything we can carry because we're, we're nowhere near our max carry. So let's start with the heavy stuff. Uh, we don't have any chassis in storage or fuel, which is why we need to get fuel early. There are two cha walrus chassis. Um, yep. All right, so two to ship. Two seals to ship. Um, yeah. We got in storage four actuated cameras that or gimbal, cam gimbal cameras we'll need those take that taking a moment to take care of your logistics train before you get started probably a good idea no nope. players right now are we gonna need more 30 millimeter turrets no i don't think so 24 torpedoes i want all of the i would take 20 of them right now uh we're definitely going to want all 10 cruise missiles we're going to want uh all the aa you got uh actually uh gonna take you know the laser guidance sure uh and 100 all all the ir missiles that you got uh we don't have any extra bombs i'm, I'm gonna take Gonna take uh, 2,000 of the ammo, the light ammo that, that uh, most of our guns take. Uh, I'm gonna take, really kind of want uh, a bigger button, actually. No real way to kind of get as much as that. I don't want grab 4,000 of that. No flares. Pretty much all I got. So, I want to associate 
Uh, looks like it's already loading up. Fantastic. Um, make sure we're hooked up there. Cool. Right. Uh, these are our vehicle loadouts. So we have S3, it has a gun. S4 has a gun. S1 has the fire spots, which we use to take over islands. And S2 gun. Do we have any other chassis on board? We've got a seal and a walrus. Take that walrus. And uh, we'll put gun, bigger gun. We don't have any of. Anti-air cannon is fun. Missile array, another, got more virus spots. That's good. Gimbal and a radar. Uh, I think I'm going to put, we don't have a whole lot of missiles for him. What I'd really like to put on is uh, artillery, but they can only go on a, on a bigger vehicle. So I think maybe I'll just put on, oh, yeah, I guess we'll try the missile array. I mean, we'll give it a go. And it's being put in place. So what else we got? Observation camera. That might be fun to put on. Uh, IR, gener IR countermeasures in case somebody tries to attack it with a missile. Not so useful. Uh, we don't have any. Of so I guess I'll put an observation camera on it just for the moment. S5 is going to be an observation thing. A1 and A2 are our albatross, which are going to be recon. And yes, that's, that's, that's the gimbaled camera. That's what that is. This is IR missiles. I like those for here. This is a uh, IR no. Uh, let's or IR missiles. I'm not much of a gun guy, especially for a weapon I want to be standoff. So that's all missiles. A2 is same loadout, but with guns. Take the guns off and replace them. I guess I could put light bombs on it, but it really doesn't have much survivability. AA missiles? I mean... Maybe I'll put TV missiles on this one. That's what I'll do. Right, well... Right. It's gonna be standoff. I haven't upgraded their, their missile capabilities. A3! You guys have missiles on you. That's great. Play. Uh, A3 is also going to need uh, countermeasures. And so is A4. And can we assemble a chassis? We don't have any air chassis. Right now, our selection, our selection of vehicles is pretty limited. However, this is the hollow tape planning and all the good stuff so we want to go up this way we want to go due north and probably up that way um, on this hollow table we do have some button choices show wind direction precipitation fog ocean current and depth i think i'm gonna go with show me Ocean currents, very useful. All right, so the island we want to go to is due north. Yeah, it is beautiful. This is just a beautiful game. Due north, uh, currents are in our favor. So, engines on. Oh, listen to that. Throttle up. Navigate to an enemy island. There's our barge, by the way, that's that thing over there. That's what was delivering our stuff. That's more logistics. As you can see, as you can see, all three displays are showing the stuff we need. Coming around to due north. And I would like to lock the navigation heading that way. I'm gonna bring up nav lights and the headlights. Uh, I'm going to wait a minute on enabling anything else there. Um, that is our power uh, availability, all to, mostly to propulsion. Radar is going. Uh, I'm going to 
seem to be doing okay. Um, yeah, we're not there yet. A little bit, so we got transmission. Welcome to the bridge of the ACC Epsilon carrier. The analysis of intercepted stanza communications is completed. The belligerents are using the ACC Omega to plant deep crust detonators on each captured island. Once the entire archipelago is seeded, they will trigger simultaneous detonations. This is likely to rupture the Treltor and Avapola tectonic plates, effectively ruining Telos as a viable resource for the foreseeable future. Well, that's not good. Yeah, Commander, bad. given that the unmanned Telos colony is the largest supplier of materials to the UEC war effort on Earth, the potential ramifications are catastrophic. That's right. You must recapture enemy islands to disable their detonators or eliminate the enemy carrier. All right. So, you know what we got to do? Uh, know what we got to do here. Man, I keep getting into the chair. All right, use the helm. Uh, navigate to an enemy island. I doing? Often. Pull this up a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see we're making progress. See, we're making progress. And we're going at 114 knots. I could probably get more out if I turned off the radar. But I kind of want the radar. You can see that we have our defensive systems are offline. They're not ready for those quite yet. Um, going to bring us around to the left just a little bit more. I like the self-centering nature of the steering. All right, maintain heading is set. Uh, ocean depth is decreasing, but we uh, we have the wind with us. Yeah, we have the, have the ocean ocean current with us, and not much in the way of wind. So yeah, yeah, we're we're kind of gonna come over to the side of the island because I, unlike many other people who have streamed this game, have absolutely no interest, none at all, in wrecking into the actual island. I don't want to beach this thing; it's a pain in the butt. There's side thrusters and stuff, but compass heading is good. Seas are light. Oh, and you can see uh, the navigation is up. It uh, right, wants us to stop. Uh, yep. Throttle down. Oh, yeah. Wants us to arm the main gun. You know, that's always fun. All right. Main gun online. Forgive my mouse. It's a little bit fiddly. All right, viewing scope, set camera to auto, manual, manual, that's R. All right, and you know what, I'm gonna turn stabilization on. And now, we zoom in, and you notice, we have a great advantage at night. We can see their headlights. Hey, that is a seal carrying a gun. That is... It's probably also a seal with a gun. This being an early island, I wouldn't expect much else. That is on the other side of the island. I can't get sight to it. All right, these guys, there's quite a number of them. This might be a good choice for a weapon shot. Keeping an eye on them. Oh, these guys are moving. All right. Set uh, weapon to carrier gun. Support weapon. Firing. Support inbound. Five rounds out. Inbound. Oof. I did not hit. I uh, didn't hit enough. Call in another salvo. Can we afford it? Yeah, that's what we're doing anyway. Wow, 
I am not not hitting. Not hitting. Maybe they a tweet. Maybe they tweet. All right. I've used way too much 160 millimeter ammo. That guy. Oh, that guy's not dead. All right. Let's let's see if we can't tag some guys. Avoid any of that. Miss anybody? All right. Out of the gun position. We took out a few of them. All right. It wants us to deploy all surface vehicle. Well, if I really want to deploy all surface vehicles, but I'm going to use this as my ground control. And we're going to just zoom in here. And uh, yeah, cartographics, what we're currently set to. Fantastic. Click here. All right. Gun, you, uh, you know what? Just come out here. You, uh, uh, gun. Also, zoom out over here. And gun here. And yeah, seriously, right click needs to be a uh, synonym for escape. All right, Surface Island is deploying. So, what I want to do is set this for the alpha. Set this for alpha. And set this for alpha. And, and then I can drag this up to the island. All right? And then we'll wait for the alpha call out. Capture island using seals and virus bots. Yes, that is plan. And you, I'm going to set to Bravo. And when I call Bravo, you move up here. And then you will release the fire spots. Cool. So we've got all these things going off. What can we do? Well, for one, we can look up their cameras. We can look in their guns. If I. Uh... And lock their targets. They can take manual control and look around. Which isn't, you know. Worst idea. Stabilized and off. So let's put it on stabilized. What's our gun look like? I don't even know if we've got range. We don't have range for that target, which is a bit of a shame. Set it back to auto. Going into position. Yeah. We can see that. Now, because we can see that, I'm going to switch over to this over here. You're like, why are you switching over to this over here? That's seems silly. That oh, something's firing on us. Crap. Uh oh, looks like we're firing back on him. Not necessarily effectively. Oh, looks like we took a ping too. All right, can't have that now. Where's my gun at? Uh, yeah. Manual control, please. Calling in fire. I think he's dead. Likewise. Oh, that guy's over the hill. Okay. <laughs> I was I was going to get a little more aggressive with him, but uh, I think that took care of the problem. So those guys are still forming up. Fine, they're doing their job. Now I came over here to set up uh, wind. And you're like, why are you setting up wind? What do you need to know about the wind for? Because we're going to do a little recon here. 
we're gonna take our and you know, get him up pretty high. 1920, 2000, yep, like that. And from there, we're going to kind of do a little circuit. Looking, uh, we're just gonna do a little recon over here. OS, a little recon triangle, right? As you do, as you do. And you'll notice we have a crane. We have a CCTV that actually shows that vehicle. And yes, this is below decks. Um, this is below decks. We could actually watch by going downstairs the, what's going on. Uh, the status of the elevator doing just fine. All right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Our drone is going out right now. This is the Albatross backing into place. Kai, that's gorgeous. Like, just no way around it. Hi, vaping gamers. How you doing, Tex? We're just doing a little bit of uh, Carrier Command 2, which I'm really excited about. This is the actual campaign. Oh, looks like we're starting to get some heavy, heavy seas here. Yeah. Dog that, dog that, that hatch, Taylor. All right, so that is gone off. Now I tend to use this one for drone control. Albatross camera. Here we go. We got control of the camera. The gimbal camera. I'm gonna take manual control. I'm gonna stabilize the sucker. I'm gonna set its tracking. All right, so we're going to go ahead and actually be able to call out targets. There's one. There's one that's not tagged. You can see some incoming fire from our other unmanned ground vehicles. Um, if these guys hold still, oh shit, I uh, may have clicked. They have clicked. I don't know. Oh, that's fine. They have clicked. All right, so we're just basically... Uh, you can see the fire going on now. That, that guy is taking a little bit in the way it hits. But yeah, if we really felt like it, we could... Say hey, Albatross. Um, give him a single missile. This would be a terrible idea, but let's see what happens. Uh, we're just gonna watch. We're actually watching the camera. Should be. Where's, where's he going? Where's he going? Come on, man. You coming around? Yeah, he's coming around for that for that uh, missile run. There we go. I mean, if I take manual control, I mean. That's a lot of fire. If I can't get him out of there before I uh, threw myself pretty hard. All right, he's coming back around to that position. He is able to be seen. All right, maybe I can, maybe I can just, uh, one more, one more thing. All right, so obviously I am no kind of pilot. <clears throat> I 
Uh, we've got gun rounds available. Guns out. That target is dead. This target. I mean, this is really overkill, but... Alright, we have... Seven. The port out. Oh, missed. Just badly. But he's holding still now. I am wasting a crap ton. Crap ton of ammo. There. There. Eat it. Eat it. Alright, there's a couple of targets over here. Damn it, I'm just, just gonna do this. I'm just gonna... Those guys, totally, totally gone. All right, I'm not too worried about the remaining guy. Okay, so. How are we doing here? Oof, this guy. Are you out of ammo? Is that it? Yeah, I think you might actually be out of ammo. Uh, it's not, you're getting low on ammo. You are pounding pretty hard. So let's call, let's call it. Let's call Alpha Go. Go code Alpha. Yeah, buddy. So these guys are going in. And of course, my phone starts ringing because that's what happens right when you order a, an attack. You low on ammo? Hey. Oh, you've got half ammo. First guy is getting a bit low. First guy is getting a bit low. But, with these guys concentrating up through here, this guy will take some damage. And the albatross. Now, the albatross can be seen, but it doesn't matter. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna try an actual attack by the albatross with a double missile. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but then I'll have to put him back in, uh, back in control. All right, here comes. Here he comes, swinging around. Let's see, see what happens. Got him. Ah, missiles out. Missiles out. Hot, hot. Fox 2. Fox 2. Let's go. That's it. It hit. It hit. Hard to say. Single. No, if he's. I think we got a splash on that, but I'm sending him around, taking some hits. Looks like he's swinging around for it, though. Got one round left. Anything else we see that's throwing damage that, uh, you guys have been right. We got a little too. Oops. 
Something died. Let's fire a guided missile over here. That missile should be engaged. Gonna guide it in terminally. Come on, hold still. Have a missile. Uh, waiting unavailable. Do we have no missiles in the racks? Would be bad. Albatross, get up to altitude. All right, you can hold it down. It moves faster. Fantastic. And come on in for uh, for landing. Okay, the seals are. How are you? You're this is bingo on ammo. You are also almost out of ammo, so uh, I'd like you to come back home. Uh, you. While we're talking about logistics. All right, so uh, that's an... How are we on this? Uh, you know what? I'll bet the missile launcher is not armed. Nope. That's why we couldn't use it. <laughs> Gotta arm the missile launcher. That one's on me. That one's on me, kids. Our power is all into weapons and radar right now. Not a whole lot of weapons. Uh, I've got to really remap Q to get up. It's just escape is just a little too far to right. Okay. So, ground control over here. This seal is uh, kind of getting, getting beat up. I mean, he'll get out of there in time, I'm pretty sure. All right, if I got enough rounds, rounds to maybe drop on those guys. Who's doing the firing? You're doing the firing. You know what? You got enough rounds. I think they're dead. I'm pretty sure they're Yeah. Anybody else? Like tired of tired of dealing with this the hard way. Okay, yeah, headlights. You guys are gonna die gonna die 100% and we're firing five rounds yep that's what I like to see that is what I like to see look at the hollow map see, we can actually pull up the hollow map here I think our drone has already landed Let's see, yeah. Yeah, the, the drone is being rearmed as we speak. Uh, being refueled and rearmed, and do we not have any more missiles for that? Absolutely have more IR missiles. It must not be quite in place. That's fine. Technically, we can take A2 up and do the same thing. How are we doing for position? Off at the side, you can see the seal coming back. All right, this guy's down on ammo. I'm gonna have him go after that target. Uh, 
have him go that way. But I am taking manual control. should be firing automatically. should take care of all of the stuff here so I'm gonna call Bravo and send in the virus spots virus spots inbound while that happens I'm going to switch over to my air control I'm gonna grab a2 I'm going to put a point here I can get good altitude or spotting. And we're just gonna fly a little circuit. All right, because we know it's got a couple of missiles. We know the missiles are actually pretty decent. Okay, A2 is in the process of being deployed. You can see one of the guys coming into the rear. I think we need some headlights. Where are the lights? Um, spotlights for an aft light deck. Navigation lights are around here somewhere. I don't need flare launcher. Uh, sea whiz we don't need. Might activate the AA missile. But uh, headlights and nav lights are up. All right. And we see that the albatross is coming on deck. We don't have a lot of wind right now, which is great. I have seen some uh, very high seas, shall we say. Very, very high sea. But things are pretty calm right now. Albatross is going to go out and climb to altitude very quickly. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, you. Um, maximum radar range. Not seeing a make a difference. I am definitely going to have to play with um, the key bindings. That's not surprising. All right, so our power layout is pretty good. Pulsion weapons. We don't have anything going on with the lift right now. Radar is going. Yeah, all right. So again, light control, the albatross, missiled up. We want the gimbal camera, we're going to take manual control, failing stabilization on. Those are our guys. Looks like the virus carrier is up. But do I see any more guys with headlights? I need to call out. No? I think we're good. Good. We are quite, quite good. Excellent, excellent. And the barge is there. Uh, fire spots almost there. So we're gonna switch to the camera. This is what... Uh, fire spots have been deployed. 
we'll we'll have some manual control and see them. Uh, they're basically little big dogs that run up to the base and and hack it. That's that's what that's what they do. They're hacking bots. And that's fine. You just get them close and let them do their business. And since that is totally, you can see a little bar increasing. And since that's done, um, I'm gonna go back. Here we go. We've got Overwatch happening, but I don't need it right now. So back to the carrier with you. And he'll enter the flight pattern. And you see on the air traffic control what flight pattern we got. Uh, ship log. All the stuff that we've destroyed. That's good to know. Uh, runway lights. I knew they were here somewhere. There we go. Overhead commands. Uh, countermeasures we don't need right now. Sea whiz is not on. Kinda. I'm not turning on all the power to everything. I'm gonna turn off the AA current. Well, how are we doing here? Take the commander's position. You see, you can see the the flight approach of of the of the albatross. This is wonderful because you can see every what and wherefore of movement and such. Commander has serious overview. If you want to run with an actual crew, beautiful, just beautiful terrain, um, procedurally generated from handcrafted tiles. Just, just really awesome. Oh, and we got it. Capture Island. We got extra barges. Right. So, having an extra barge basically means... Let's go over and use this as our control for that. Right? Map, if we click on the barge island, we can order up another logistics barge. It costs 2,000 credits. Why does it cost 2,000 credits? Why are they just giving them to us? I don't know. But we'll have to go and kill some more things and take some more maps as it goes. Then we can have another logistics barge. Um, our currency report, speaking of which, we're getting... We got 18 for island control. Now we're getting 30. We got 100 for island capture. We got 1,700 for vehicle salvage. Probably for all the stuff we blew up. And we've got 1,800. Yeah. And that's where we're kind of gonna we're gonna board with that. So I'll leave. This was the map we were using to decide. Ah, yes, one to the northwest. Fuel, 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 indeed. No, 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 no. Make sure the warehouse is feeding you. And I, there we go. Barges feed. Uh, why are we down on... Oh, is that aircraft not landed yet? Mm, mm mm Yeah, it's not landed yet. Mostly through the pattern. Really? Where are you? What are you doing? Must be, like, landing. Get your butt in there. But in there, you're landing. He's, he's just having a moment, apparently. To leave this door open. Technically, it's very unprofessional. In practice, it's gonna happen. So you can see him out there. That's the albatross. Looking to come in to land. Doing his thing. Open the pause menu. If you hit P, you'll see that we got an in-game manual that no streamer looks at. Like, uh, look, look. Defend your islands, how to capture things. How do you capture things? Oh, deploy virus bots. Use seconds type to deploy. Here's the helm stuff, all the stuff you need to know. What the depth sonar is. I will probably be giving this a much much longer read 
uh, because this is important. It's important stuff. Noise makers, countermeasures, quite good, air sea radar, torpedoes armed, like their stuff. How power is distributed, a whole thing on vehicle control. How do I set waypoints? It's right here in a fucking manual. Um, oh yes, and we have airlifts if we have petrols, which are a rotorcraft. So, yeah, old school, old school. Uh, air traffic deploy, um, and all, what all the icons stand for. Very, very important stuff. Vehicle operation, like how to run the vehicles, delivery log, the CCTV, which I'm. I'm, I'm so amused they put that in there. All the map shows everything. You know. And, oh yeah, something we haven't talked about. The self-destruct system. Oh uh, yeah, apparently. As you can see, the albatross coming in to the rear. Yeah. Defeat the enemy carrier and reclaim Telos for the UEC. Use your next move carefully. Refer to the manual for detailed information about your carrier and its systems, like we just did, yeah. Good hunting, command. All right, so that's the end of the tutorial area. We're, we're kind of in it. Uh, we have a, we have a beautiful albatross backing up, going to go down to the elevator. I'm gonna take a moment and let it go down the elevator. Over there, you see one of our USVs coming back, one of the SEALs, which is fantastic. But yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna take a moment. We're gonna let this, let this play out right here. Ooh, sounded like we got a notification from something, which is all right. Yeah, we've been recording for about, we'll go for like another hour if I feel it. If I'm, if I'm feeling it, that's what I'll do. What we'll do. Oh man, so nice. And it looks like the, this looks like it's a really low res game, but it's really just low poly with really high detail lighting. Just not even, not even a glitch. Not even a glitch when you're looking around. Hey, or come in the back door behind the bridge. Close this door too. Of course I have it. Alright, so yeah, you can see it's going on the crane. Yeah, getting put into place so it can be rearmed. Refit. Fantastic. Okay, so this is the moment where we check our logistics. Um, use this one, logistics display, stock, there are 4,000 more coming from there. Did any of my logistics stuff get delivered? Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so there's 50,000 mass coming on the next barge, which is all AA missiles. That's fine, all fine. All fine. Delivery log, here's what we got delivered. We got, oh, we got another, we got two more Walrus chassis. Maybe I'll set up one of those while we're sitting here. Uh, let's put it in S7. Yeah, we'll get another Walrus. What do we put on him? We don't have any of the bigger cannons. An anti-air cannon, but I don't know if we've got air assets to worry about. Could put another missile array on it. You know what? Let's put a second missile array. And we'll also put... We'll put that. All right, so we'll give him a little little bit of action. He'll be, he'll be fit, as, fit as a fiddle here shortly. Fit as a fiddle. All right. next target we want is the fuel island which is directly with the current up here 
We don't know what assets it has, but we're going to sort of set course for it until we find out. So, sadly, we don't have an anchor. You would think, you would think we have an anchor. Oh, yeah. Off maintain heading. Do not forget and not, uh, leave maintain heading on. Zoom out so we have a little more control here. Fine. That. Maintain heading so I don't have to worry about that. We're at full speed right now with everything on, and I do mean everything. We've got, uh, we're a little low on power. Could probably use more power. Oh look, we got a new transmission. Commander Gage, I asked UEC Combat Analytics to run Monte Carlo simulations on your campaign against ACC Omega. Given all the data we have available, we have some key statistical outcomes that may influence your tactical decision making. Mm. First, in 73% of simulation runs, ACC Epsilon would face material shortages, oh, yeah. ammunition, okay. fuel, drone craft. So you really need to keep an eye on your localized supply chain. You are not wrong. Second, in 32% of simulations, the ACC Omega recaptured an island that had been previously secured by Epsilon. So don't forget to stay vigilant. I'm with you, I'm with you. Third, 23% of the time, insufficient focus on repair systems would result in loss of operational capability at inopportune times. While automated balanced repairs are convenient, for maximum efficiency, you may need to take a direct hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah I totally get it. And I don't wish to alarm you. You don't. But the overall chance of success they calculated is only 13%. Best of luck, Commander. Only 13%. Uh, thanks for your support. If you're wondering, damage status is up here. Keeping an eye on damage status is really important. Are we doing a travel? You know, we could probably stand to bear to the best a little more. I like sort of being off the right side. Um, I can manually activate the alarm. We get this beautiful red light. I think I can turn it off just by hitting this. No. All right. Oh, uh, remember what I said about heavy seas? Yeah. Yeah, that could be what's going on here. Uh, I don't think we need the cruise missile and the main gun armed right now, so I'm going to put that power into propulsion. That takes us up to 117 knots when we hit. Oh god, this is... If you are prone to seasickness, this may not be the game for you. Alright, we are close enough that we can kind of see the outline of what we're looking at here. So let's think about this. If we come at it, we should actually come at it from the side. Oh my god. Uh, definitely come at it. Oh my god. Water over the deck. Water over the deck. Uh, pull some speed back a little. So I can get routing. Okay, right, there we go. There we go. Hold that hitting. That's with the current, so we're we're popping it. We're almost everything into propulsion. Ooh wee! Fuel is important, and I'll show you why fuel's important while we glide along here. This is our fuel status. You see that fuel level? This is all we got. All of our vehicles. You know what? They require. They require actual. Um, fuel to be refueled by us so yeah yeah that's kind of a big deal kind of a big deal all of our vehicles that we have equipped are, are here cool 
we have any air chassis? No, we don't have it. That's right. I checked earlier. Yeah, need dreams. We'll have to get an island for that soon. So far, so good. Oh. Oh. All right. So, judging by... Judging by cartography... Getting close. Getting close enough I could probably stand to uh, arm something. Uh, in fact, what I want to bring up the Sea Whiz and the Anti-Air because I don't know if there's an air protection on this three, uh, three shield island, but it's the right thing to check. This is... Ground slightly to the right. In. Should be just sort of... I don't want to get too close. But, and I don't want to be aimed to basically itch on the eye. Suck. Would suck in the worst possible kind of way. So... I could deploy uh, an albatross for recon. As you can see, the AA missiles are armed. Sea Whiz is armed. Main gun and cruise missiles is not armed. All right, we can see the island from here. I'll see if we can't actually get some action on it, and then I will take Biobrite. All right, I think we're close enough. Full stop. Heading maintained. Give me air deployment. On bedrock. Let's get that up, make it max altitude, if we can't recon island, and stay alive while doing it, because the Albatross is no kind of combat plane, despite the fact that it's got missiles. I will also stage out our uh stage out our ice Don't click right on the carrier. Those two are going, and I'm going to send the missile walrus with them. See how that goes. See how that goes. Let them get staged. The albatross is about to get airborne for us to do some recon with. The barge is behind us doing barge things, transferring stuff to us. It's great. We will need the ammo soon, and we will need... Oh, we will need the fuel for sure. That's the killer. Alright. Air control. And camera. We want the gimbal, manual control. That's us. And let's see what we can find. Anything near? We're just gonna look around. Now we've got a target. Two targets. 
look like seals. Yeah. Probably see gun seals. Alright, that's two. Who are you bad boys? A walrus. What are you carrying, buddy? That's important to know. Gun. Alright, it's probably got a 40 millimeter gun. But you. That's another seal I can tell from the profile. This is a game that really rewards being slow and methodical about your plans. Um, because if you go in without knowing what you're going into, bad stuff can happen. Like, you don't know what kind of concentration of forces you're going into. Maybe you go into weapons that you're not prepared to deal with. Down here. No. They seals. I'm pretty sure they've got guns, but... Because I fully do not expect to win this campaign, maybe I'll show you how to call in support from the ship. That's a gun. Okay. Anything else over here? Dang. Boris. Well, I think that marks all of our targets. Just, just in case. All right, so we're back over here. We're planning to come up this way. Let's double check. Let's see if there's anything along the path. That's where we want to go to take the island. Oh, it looks like everything else is on the end of the island. So. Cool. Cool. Here's what we're going to do. Arm the main gun and the cruise missile. We're going to not arm the torpedoes because we don't have sea surface stuff. Uh, main gun, we have fully reloaded. Uh, and we have missiles, we've got six. Maybe we won't need those. Checking the radar. I'm not showing anything on radar except our, except our aircraft. Let's double check the aircraft's fuel level. Uh, 88%. Not bad. I need to put drop tanks on it, but... Yeah. Alright, so we will go to vehicle control. Over here. And... That seal is still moving into place. Alright. I'm going to send... The seal and this walrus into position. And this seal. Use the mouse to scroll him. I want him to. And you know what? Go ahead and deploy the seal forward. And I don't believe there are enemies that will give us trouble, but you know what? Paranoia is the way of wisdom. The virus bots are lined up. I'm going to put them into the staging area um, with this seal effectively watching them. What is he doing? He is... Why are, you, why are you stuck in the... Get in the water! Get in the water, you bastard! You know what? I love the fact that I can actually take over control. Like, you know what? I don't have to deal with it. I just... just oh, the AI was stupid with pathfinding. Alright, fair enough. I'll just take over the steering wheel and get him out of there. We're advancing. Looks like all the targets, all the bad guys are on the other side. That's good. I kind of want to make a gun run with the other albatross. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to do a ridiculous gun run with the albatross. And 
and uh, see if I can't clear off some of these guys. Single. Single. I think I can do. Single. Then. Then just the carrier. I don't know if that's gonna work. I have no idea if that's gonna work. But if it does, it'll be freaking awesome. We have the yeah the. It's on the elevator. On the elevator. We're doing on these guys. But work it. Oh, that. We have warning. What happened here? Vehicle destroyed. Fire spot. Oh, yes. When the fire spots uh, are done with their lifetime, they just simply disappear. They just they they they, they explode. Which is why we need to get more fire spots. As far as I know. I think we have to replenish them. That's actually not clear. I should look at the manual for that. I should look at the manual for that, but watching this take off for There goes our strike. There goes our strike albatross. Which um is pretty awesome. How are we doing on position? Oh look. Alright, so here is here's what's going on with the hollow table right now. You can see our guys kind of going up. And that albatross is going to its first waypoint. You can see where the enemy is. Kind of weird. Not good for us. They are moving around. But we are tracking because we have the orbit albatross way up high. We got surveillance predator way up high. And this albatross is coming in. We're just going to watch this from the hollow table for a minute because kind of awesome. We're gonna see if these strikes go off, right? So he seems to be lining up on that first run to go hit the waypoint. And yeah, missile away, Fox one, Fox one, missile away, head to the second waypoint. Is it gonna hit? Is it gonna hit? Uh, it, oh, missed. What's he doing? He's taking a lot of fire. Taking a lot of fire over the target. He's, he's looping around. I think he's going around for another... Another strike. I think maybe we did hit that target. Yeah, he's going out. Make another run. Important thing to note, it appears. They um, do their take their gun runs and their, their missile runs seriously. They take time to get the line up on it. They want to approach from standoff. They don't want to make quick maneuvers as the drones. If you want quick maneuvers as the drone, looks like you need to fly the drone, which is fine, which is fine. All right, he's lining up for another fire. There goes another missile. Definitely tracking in. Oh, 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 oh. it's going after that other target. It's going over here. It's gonna hit. Doesn't look like it hit. Doesn't look like any of those hit. He's he's looping around again. He is over the target and taking fire. Ah, oh, a lot of fire. There's apparently something here to the south that we have not seen. I'm gonna go jump on the other drone. Over the orbiting drone, and if I can't camera that up. Um Alright, so that is a lot of dudes parked in the dark. Alright, let's see if I can't call in a missile on this. This is not not great. This is way overkill, but missile support call. Firing. The missile is coming from off-board 3K way. Coming from the carrier. These missiles are monsters. But we're getting there. 22 
100 meters and closing. 2200 meters in closing and tracking in on our target point by the way if we're targeting something it's laser guided uh, okay I don't uh, you I don't want you out here 500 40 300 uh, I don't know what you think you're gonna see but what you saw was a lot of explosive power they're very good against groups. I think I might actually fire another one. They are extremely expensive and uh, kind of difficult to get your hands on. Like this is this is absolutely a waste of resources to do this. What I should be doing is sending in ground forces, taking my chances from repair, pulling them in and out, but. It's disgustingly satisfying. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Well, the glow is here. The glow is here, boys. Boom. There's another target. I don't think we've got, I don't know if we've got gun on this or not. I don't know. I'm gonna try firing gun. See what we can do. Yeah, it says we got range. We lit him up. That that was nice. Uh, I think we've got everything else is pretty safe. So the question is, did that other albatross make it back? And the answer is, I believe that's the case. Oh, it's starting to snow. Oh, man. Snow. I hate snow, man. Yep, other albatross made it back. Let's check the fuel on this albatross. 58% fuel. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. Right. Okay, I believe we've probably got in that guy. I guess one of the missiles really did do damage to him. Okay, fire spot, boy vehicle, and seal. Score the fire spot. Actually, you know what I can do? Just click on follow him. Those guys have got the beachhead. I think maybe I'll. I think maybe I will re-equip this with, are those TV guided? Those are TV guided. Uh, yeah. No, that's an eight. IR missiles. Continue with the IRs on this thing. Maybe we'll do another gun run. He's being equipped. We on barges. What is the barge doing? It's unloading. What's our order? Stock. This should be pulling more stock. We're pulling all this stuff. Us. So. doing on token oh guess what we can afford another seal I mean another barge really just just, just one here being constructed logistics large blueprint is being crunched and now it's being produced there you go logistics baby logistics yeah we got 50 AA missiles yeah we've been getting lots of missiles coming in we got it's good that's good it wants us to look at the self-destruct I keep hitting that button so all right 
Fine. A self-destruct safety hatch. Oh yes, I'm standing on it. <clears throat> oh. You know, wanted to turn on the safety. You don't. It, it, you don't. Don't mess with that. Not good. Not good. Don't don't play with the. Don't play with that. Don't, just don't do it. All right. Looks like. Looks like those three guys are well on their way. These guys are incoming. I will say again, if you are the impatient sort, this is not the game for you. Like, there is waiting to be done, there's planning to be done, there is thinking to be done. And if that's not the kind of game you're in for, you know, don't, don't think that it is. Don't imagine that it is. Oh, okay, you're down on half. All right, we're just gonna swing around and do a missile run, that guy. Why not? Why not? Take a look at him. Oh, missile's away. All right, where's the missile going? Oh, there's two more guys. Okay, the missile's not the best range, apparently. Alright, fine. Don't do it from that high. I'm getting a little tired of this little cluster, so you can hear me, and by that I mean just sort of tell that I am getting ready for that missile action. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him the hard, I'm gonna give him the hard solution. I wish I had an artillery bear. That's a little bit cheaper, but we don't have the frame, and we don't have the weapon for it. So, that's right. That's why we have observation here. Like, that's why we do this. If you've ever wanted to be a predator pilot, and, you know, do Overwatch and call in artillery, this is the game for you, babe. This is it. I can't think of another one that's not strictly devoted to, to the game, that, that kind of gameplay. All right, we got a cruise missile coming in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Missile, boom, only took one target, sure. Firing main gun in support on this target. You can see rounds coming in any moment. I'm I'm tired of these targets. Can you tell? I'm like, you know what? Screw it. This is fuel. We need fuel. Target is coming in on that artillery gun. Bam. Alright, we are not quite bingo on on fuel, so go get into the pattern. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about right there. And see, he's in the he's in the pattern. The pattern. Here's the ship log. We took out a bunch of seals. Took out a walrus. Didn't actually use our walrus. I think we can actually just call most of these feet back. Quite frankly. Hey, you guys, head on back. What? Send the walrus back too. It is so slow comparatively. Looking good. Uh, all right.
right, yeah, yeah. And he should be coming in. He should be in the pattern to land right now. There he is. He's coming in from high. I probably should have brought him down a little bit first, but... Wow, is he actually coming in? Can't be approaching from that high. He literally can't be. You doing, dude? Doing. Wait, mind. What are you doing? No. What I need you to do is come out here. You know what? Bring down to 200. And then come in. How about that? How about that? Can you, you think you can do that? We'll just look from the front. We actually had two missiles left. And we've got tons of IR missiles because I brought them in. And we, you start with a ton of them. Um, but, all right, so he's hit. He's hit the approach down to 120 off the deck. And the speed is dropping. He's going to be coming on in. Real soon now. Real soon now. Has to be. Let's take the... Oh, why your gimbal's over there. Yeah, there's the... the... Come on, man. Get into the pattern. There's the carrier. The carrier is awesome. The carrier is wonderful. The carrier is what we want to be on right now. Swinging around, broad outside, and then you should enter the pattern. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. I think we're coming in. At 120. I see the deck below us. Let's see if we can watch a landing. Do you think we can? Do you think he'll actually line it up? Come on, man. What's supposed to be doing here? Bring it in. Not a flyby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The computer's a way better pilot than I ever will be, so, you know, I accept that. And punched up the engine real hard. All right. Caught on the arresting line. Fantastic. Albatross returned to the deck. Oh, cool. He'll get rearmed. These guys are doing their thing. Uh, the virus spots should be just driving along, singing a song. Don't deploy them by accident. And I, I feel like I could drive faster. Maybe I can. Uh, maybe he got caught on the terrain. There you go. Yeah, it looked like he just got caught on the terrain. I'm going to go ahead and send the seal back to no need to, to babysit I think I can eat say you know what go oh I cannot cannot say after the drop go ahead and come back that's fine this godforsaken snow world out here I can only imagine, like, they're, they're supposed to have multiple tile sets for generating the maps. And that's cool. That's really cool. I can only imagine how not... Oh! What the hell? Something's firing on us? No, 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 no. Where's that... that seal? Come up here, buddy. Up here. Up here. Get that guy out of here. The hell? 
the hell? Uh, let me grab this guy. Bring him over here. We'll do a low level recon. I need to find out what the hell is firing over here. Taking manual control. I am taking. Wow, I wish I could make that uh, a little bit less. A little bit less uh, opaque. Use the opacity. But I'm capable of driving this thing like a bat. Going to that uh, un unbelievable. Somebody, ah, uh, there he is. There he is. Shoot the bastard. There he is. That's what we wanted. Oh, uh, we need to. There we go. That's what I. Back up here and deploy the bots. There was one guy, one guy just sort of waiting. Yeah, that walrus is uh, ammo's down. So since we don't need that albatross anymore, go back into landing form. Yeah, in the patterns. more seal that I hmm that was tense you can see why you would want multiple crew in this game actually you would definitely see why you want multiple crew in it but yeah I'm gonna sit here at the hollow table for a minute and switch to my up window temporarily You know what? Uh, I'm gonna set myself up to be streaming on my personal Discord server so that my the, the folks who know, the folks who know know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you know how it is. Folks who know know. Uh, where is game stream? It's here somewhere. There it is. There it is. Sixty. Blah. All right. I'm excited. Here we go. I'm back in. Here we are looking at the hollow table. Everything's working. I think. If nothing else, nothing else. Oh, wait a second. It extra helps if I'm not set muted on the Discord. So, hey, yeah, yeah. We're good. Now we're good. So if they can, I don't know if anybody over there will drop in on us, but there you go. We're parked. That albatross came in for a landing. Hell yeah. Success, ladies and gentlemen. This is what actual success looks like. I think. I mean, I could be terribly wrong. All right. Uh, how about our fire spots? How are they doing? They don't appear to be doing well. To get them rolling, I know I gotta go uphill. Take manual control here for a minute. I have assumed. Oh. I've assumed control because humans drive faster than the AI. It has to be some sort of advantage. We're taking me roll. But yeah. 
going on? We're going deep, kids. We're going hard. Going mad. Mad, I tell you. Mad. And we're rocking it. They're cocking it. Wait, that sounded that sounded quite inappropriate. Fight. Alright, auto has been returned. He's gonna swing around or I don't know. Maybe I should take just complete manual control here. Yeah, like, come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Get over there. I'll let you autopilot home or something. It's fine. You can drive home. All right. I want to take a bio break. Bastards. All right. All right. Two. Pop them. Manual control. Pop them. There they are. Big dog in the house. Big dog in the house. Yeah. Alright, they're close enough to start the hack. It's great. I want. Got that rocking it. Hey, virus spot. Can't give you commands, but I can give that seal commands. Eerie. Part of the problem sometimes here is I don't want to give her a spot. Yeah, I'm a command. There we go. Camera. Are we going? Going. Get away from here real quick. Apparently the computer does not like driving in these conditions. They Alright, we have almost, almost got this whole island. We did a lot of good killing. A lot of good killing. But the problem is we spent a lot of resources doing it. In particular, 160 millimeter rounds, which we cannot replace quite yet. Um, that is no bueno. Let's see, where is that at? It, arch munitions. Oh, it's not a large one. It is under small munition. 160 millimeter shells. We have 35 of them left on the ship. And no real resupply. And we don't have any 120 millimeter guns. As far as I know. So, that's the kind of a problem. I do have two barges now. That's great. We're at oh, not quite half. Uh, we spent 2,000 on item production. We got a little on item control. Captured that. We get every minute two tokens. So technically we've got 1,500 today. Nice. Uh, we've got one surface vehicle being resupplied. Uh, everybody's back on the ground. Cool. 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 Now, we haven't quite ca Oh, we captured this island. Hell yeah, because we need that fuel. Now, we've got to figure out what our next stop is. Can't do it from this board. It needs to be from over here. Also need to set up our logistical supply. Straight to me. And, yeah, we would like... Uh, 10, 20, 120, 154, is that all we can afford? Yeah. Just, just make fuel and give it to us. Uh, barges get automatically assigned to do things. That one's idle. And this one has a deliver option from there to here. I am. Pretty sure. No, that, that one's... That one's coming. Uh, this barge is going to be assigned to that island. Here we go. I guess barges don't get automatically assigned. Uh, 
I will probably have that island just use this barge straight on us. Yeah. Yep, yep. Now he's going to collect. Now he's going to collect. Fantastic. And this one is coming on its way, and it's got a thousand uh, 20 millimeter, 12 AAs. Another cruise missile. That'll be nice. Uh, actuated camera and gimbal camera. I don't think we have any more don't think we have any more crew no we got uh, 10 really we got nine more in in the warehouse uh yeah i would i would love to have all those all those all those okay so figure out where we're going next barges uh, let's see barges nope all right so from here we can go get utilities we can get small munitions which we could resupply the gun or we can get air chassis which we don't know which one we'll get i kind of feel like we want to get small munitions to the northeast i think that's the right call And then, yeah. All right, so power distribution, we should probably I'm gonna turn off the anti-air missile. I'm gonna leave one anti-air missile and turn off the Sea Whiz in the back. I'm gonna turn off the cruise missile and the main gun temporarily. I think that'll redistribute our energy pretty good. And yeah, we wanna go to the one to the, to the hard northeast. So, all right, engaging and turning real hard. Uh, power is going to propulsion. We're making 75 knots in a hard turn. This is going to be a small island. That kind of bodes well. Lock that nav heading in. Helm released. All right. The depth sonar. Well. That's a good thing to have. You no, know, it's a good thing to have. Oh, now we're getting heading into the seas. It's getting a little rough again. If we're really unlucky, we'll hit a storm. Or really lucky, depending on how you feel about storms. You can totally turn off things altogether. Like if you wanted to turn off the radar and and direct all the power to to maneuver. You absolutely could. I'm not saying you should. I am saying you could. I'm gonna zoom in on our little area of concern. This utility island up here could be useful, but I don't see use for it right now. I'd really rather resupply uh, other things. At least it's not raining. Ah, oh, and a barge is, is unloading for us. Fabulous. Fabulous. I really appreciate that. Also, right click doesn't seem to do anything at the current time. I don't think it's time to do anything. I might just see if I can reassign that in, uh, in the game to... to effectively replace escape because zooming in it, well well i mean it does okay it does zoom in it does it does do something so it'd be, it'd be nice it'd be nice on things where you can't zoom in to be able to say right click and just have it just act as escape maybe or map q to escape because i don't think vehicle control Let's... Oh, did you not follow us? 
Oh man, our poor little, our poor little, our poor little seal. Pull up, hold up. Full stop. Poor seal, man. I, I'm sorry, seal. Sorry, forgot about you. Forgot about you, buddy. I can't floor it. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry. Didn't mean to go off without you. It would probably be faster for me to turn the whole ship around, come back and get him. You know what? It, it probably would. Probably would. All right, we don't leave a man behind in this vessel. Turn off that. Turn on side thrusters. Coming around, coming around. Sorry, buddy. Sorry for that be uh be what happened that's that's me that's me being a dick just a complete dick apologize lights i need probably turn off the landing lights too Don't gonna play in play in course uh, I can't believe I did that look there's oh wait, no that's the island over there I can't even see the seal seventh seal we almost broke the seventh seal ah uh, there's he there he is you can kind of see him in the surf up oh, over that Poor bastard. That's, that's, I'm a dick. I feel bad about that. Poor drone. Like, how? How could I make that mistake? Oh yeah, I got, I got distracted. That's what this game really, the danger of this game is. Getting distracted. Don't, don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. All right, we're coming up on him. He should be passing to the left of the front end. Some point soonish. Once we pull past him, we will stop and let him get on board to the left. Should be over there. I, look at that freaking foam as it boils over. Best sea other than Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves has beautiful water. Just this luminous blue, blue sea. All right, all right. Cut the thrust. Cut the. Th all right, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Sucked. My fault. My fault. You're almost out. You're like 30. You're 30% 30 fuel, man. Sorry. Taking manual control. Just for a minute so we can see. Maybe we can get you here faster. Front of the ship. <laughs> I think that's the front. Maybe it is a good thing I left nav lights on. Hmm. On the driving command, right click would be very, very good for being able to uh, unlock your view. I'm sure in the in the VR interface, it's like trivial to take a, take a look to the side, but uh, not for us. For us right now. All right, though. All right. Play a little more throttle. All good, buddy. All good. Still got fuel. I feel bad. I feel bad for having near.
utterly abandoned this poor bastard. Suck. Suck as a commander. Suck as a man. I, I, oh, I failed. It's alright, though. Alright. Okay, so that looks like our entry. Let's manually drive this sucker in here. Why not? I'm here. Doing. I'm responsible. Responsible for all this. Alright. Let's drive the sucker on in here. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to release him back to... Oh yeah, auto control. There you go. Are you backing up so that you can line up yourself? You are. My driving wasn't good enough for you. My driving was not good enough for you. You had to go and just be like, no, I gotta take a run at it from further out, man. I'm sorry. Sorry. I ran at it. Thanks. A lot. We'll wait till he's on. <laughs> wait till he's on. I'll double check. Yeah, those fire spots ran out. Cool. Barge is this. Cool. Logistics. Those are our barge up to. They're both idle. Oh, collecting fuel. Inventory. No inventory. Uh, Fuel Island. Fuel Island is making. Fuel Island. -y. That ought to be up. Like you should be delivering. Oh, maybe he is. Not entirely hard to tell, I could just look. Got ammo. Why are you flicking up? Yeah, you are assigned. Barrier? That's what should be happening. Okay. Gonna have to read the manual on that. But to me. Eleven I know he made more. Okay, so he is transferring that in like a blink because we're sitting there. Eh, fair enough. Fair enough. I think we're going to call this for a minute because fire break. Um, I'm going to just sit here, make you watch. I'm not going to do that. Well, however, save this game right here. Firm. And uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, we're, gonna, we're just going to take a break for a little while and come back. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Back to Carrier Command 2. With our awesome music. So, we'll be back in a little bit and throw down some more Carrier Command 2. In the meantime, stay frosty. Keep your guns ready. Kill everything you see.